Good day to you, ladies and gentlemen, just sitting in my home office. And uh, I thought I'd share a nice some ideas with you. We're going over to a product called Colors and let's see what happens. Let's have some fun. Share my screen. Well, first of all, this is the product colors here. What colors does, it looks at multiple time frames from the daily, these all the different currency pairs here, four hour, one hour. Yep. 30, 15. To give an example of how that works. First thing is, the software identifies zones. Yep. And if you see a red zone, and price goes into it, it's expecting a sell to come down. Likewise, if the price, the candles go into the green zone, it's expecting a buy. That's a step one, easy. Reds at the top, price come down. Greens at the bottom, price goes up. Simple, color coordinated. So let's look at this. Green here, you see these green arrows, how they match the green, yeah? So we'll have green arrows, we'll have a green base. The next thing we do, we'll look for, there's a, there's a trend line that goes from red to green. Yeah, we we'll look for that to change to green and it changes right there, there. We also have green here and we we'll have green here. I know it goes to red there, but here we have green. So we don't see any of this. Yeah. So I have green here. So we'd enter the trade and just there. Although it's flat line there, the momentum, the, 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 the volume is going in for buyers. See that? Everything's all green, 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 green. You stay in the trade, you stay in the trade, it's still green. Now you see how there it's changing, but price is still green, but you do have this red uh, triangle here. What that basically means is, uh, is, a, is a, a trend change. To find what that actually means, let's click here. Yeah, trend line, the trend line has just changed from green to red. Yeah, so it looks like it could be coming down. Let's go to another one. Now, just like you know, ladies and gentlemen, expect high volatile news in about three minutes time. Show how I get that there. Two minutes time. There's a governor's Bailey speech to the UK, great British pounds. I want to look at these currencies. So let's look on, um, let's just have a quick look on the five minute. Let's, so let me just, just looking at, I'm just looking at the Great British Pound pairs. Let's see, Great British Pound, Japanese Yen. So it says here they're expecting a sell. There's a red zone there, there's a green zone there. Red, red. Quickly look at another one. Great British Pound, CHF. This is coming down. It's in a high, it's got a high. Came down to this one. So we could get a buy at this zone in three minutes time. I'm looking for Great British Pound, United States dollar. Hopefully we'll get that popping. There's that one there, just to see. Price was here, it keeps bouncing off there. Yeah, all we're looking to match the colors up. It's all we're looking to do, nothing else. So I'm also looking at these numbers here. This is Great British Pound 40, CAD 56. What we're looking for them to be wide apart, one way or the other. Two minutes, I'm looking down at the corner, it's 1528 here. Two minutes before the news. Okay, let's double check on the one minute. See if we can see anything else. See, that's been pushing up there. It's been pushing up there. I might go into there and reject. We see. Great British pound on the one minute, could push up. Be a nice, but a nice push up. Now that's strong, it's retested, it's very tough, verified. 
and has had three retests. This one here said one. See the, yeah, let's just wait one minute. Right, right pound card at the bottom. Pushing up. So let's see what happens. This is live, ladies and gentlemen. This is live. This is live. One minute. I'll just remind you, we we'll have high volatile news right there. Half an hour ago, one US news, high volatile. This in two seconds will be released. Let's, let's see what if it's with any spikes. Sometimes it's immediately, sometimes it's a little bit after. I'm just checking. It's on the one minute. Just depends what the news is in relation to. Oh, look at this. What was that? Great British pound Canadian dollar. I've got a movement there, but it's not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a, a big spike. I'm not really feeling the love with this one at the moment. So this is gold. This is gold. That had a really nice, strong push earlier on. A nice, strong push. So let's just keep going through these pairs on the one minute. Silver, expecting potential drop off there. Again, it's been verified. That would be a nice push if that did come down. One of my favorite pairs, Great British Town, New Zealand dollar. That one's did very, very well. Maybe the news isn't having an impact on this particular pair. You see that green at the bottom? Got the arrow? Yeah. Just, stay, just stay in the trade, stay in the trade, stay in the trade. He said here, potential get out of the trade. But let's just check what we've got here. Let me just check volume at the bottom. Let me just check the volume at the bottom. We still have green volume, although it changed to red there. Straight across, we've got green here. Green, green, see, stay in the trade, stay in the trade. So if you get in on that one, probably, mm, let's, ooh, it, it could even be there. Let's see that one there, even. Oh, very nice indeed. And it, that one's still going up, that one is still going up. That one is still going up, that's two minutes, and you see this one pushing up, this one's pushing up. Very nice, two minutes. And every one of these candles is two minutes. So Great British Pound AUD. So that was, that was at that zone there. We'll just mark it. Just see what happens. This is live, ladies and gentlemen. This is live. It pips in two minutes. That's not bad. So it's moving slowly. Come on, keep pushing. I might push through here. I might push through here. Let's, so it's G, G, Great British Pound, AUD. Yeah, and it keeps us keeping going. You see that? Nice. So you see it with green at the bottom, green there. It's actually changed to red there slightly, but it's still green here. The candles, and the other thing, what we've got here, these are potential, so if you're in this trade, you would use these areas here, moving your stop loss up. Keep moving your stop loss up. And if it was me, I'd, I was probably putting my stop loss, move it from there up to here. Stay in the trade and let's keep pushing through. It's pushing through. Let's just check some other ones. Now, so, so at the moment, it looks like Great British Pound and AUD is moving really fast. Great British Pound card as well has moved up. But Great British Pound AUD, that's the one that's been really pushing. 
can't find it now, it's disappeared actually from here. I can go, there it is there. Yeah, it's pushing up. You see the line where we marked it, and it's pushing up even more. Yeah, it's pushing up. So, so far, let's just check that there. 9.9, 10 pips, 10 pips. Come on, get up there. Get up there. It potentially could reverse around a bit in this zone here. Over 10 pips up, and it's pushing through. Look at this, it's pushing through. Let's just confirm. At the bottom there, you see there, we've got volume. Yeah, it's went up. Yes, the, the, the trend says it's not moving, it's, it's flat lined. Here, momentum, green, everything's green, everything's green. So let's stay in the trade, stay in the trade. Measure it from here. Yeah, nine pips. Come on, get out there. Now, what's gonna happen, it's either gonna go up and do a rapid drop or just keep going. So that, that, you said quick that out, that was one candle, two candles, three, four candles to 10 pips. Really, really, that's four minutes. So I'm gonna check other ones again. Similar one to this, let's see how this great British pound moved. 10 pips, so great British pound cards, 10 pips in 10 minutes. Great British pound DUD, sorry, four minutes. Great British pound DUD, 10 pips in four minutes. So we made 20 pips, that's two days, and it took three, four minutes. Yeah, so if you want, you could say thank you very much. It's taken me four minutes, ladies and gentlemen, four minutes to make my 10 pips twice. So let's look at the steps again. So, yep. One, I look for any impact news, high impact news. Some people say stay away from the news. Other options are, you see what it potentially is gonna to go to the a major support or a supply zone. And if it's heading that way, you get into it. Let me carry on, let me carry on, let me carry on. So this, this is it on the normal chart. This is it on the normal chart. Very nice. Yeah, um, let me just see here. That one came down. Again, it makes a difference. Four I was talking about. So let me just double check with that. So let me write this down, ladies and gentlemen. So what we did was on um, Great British Pound, Canadian Dollar, Great British Pound, AUD, did 10 pips. I did 10 pips. It was, let's put it, it was four minutes. Yep. Now look at the time now. It's 15.37. Yep. That news went off at 15.30. From the very start until now, and I'm explaining and everything, it's taken seven minutes, the whole function. Seven minutes. Explaining it, everything. But to actually do the trade was only four minutes. Now, how much would you have made with that? It depends on how much was in your account. Let me just show you this. So I need to go to here, calculators. Yeah, and I'm gonna type in position size calculator. Yeah, so let's just do one, one of these, just as an example, Great British Pound AUD. Let, just for talking sake, let's say we had $1,000, okay? And risk 3%. Yep. Now, let's see about a, fat, a stop loss five pips so if we lose that trade we would lose one of them would have lost thirty dollars yep or if it went five pips 
we would have gained $30. But they didn't. It gained 10. So it was 30 and 30, 60, and the other one approximately. So approximately $120 if you have a $1,000 account. That was just as an example. And wrist. Now, we're not allowed to talk about money, but people are asking me all the time, Jeff, I'm fed up with the pips, I'm fed up with this. Tell me what would I make if my account was this? So that tells you there, ladies and gentlemen, it's very clear, it's tr very transparent, I'm not hiding anything. Yep. So that was the result. It took four minutes. What would you have made? If you had an account of thousand dollars and you were three percent, when you made 120. Four minutes. It doesn't get any easier than this. You just line up the colors. Let's do a review of what we did. Yep. Let's do a review of what we did. Rate of British pound to EUD. Yep. Price was at this level here. And I said, okay, there's the news. We just, everyone was lined up for greens. We just kept pushing with the news. Normally you're supposed to wait to get into these green or red areas, but the news was pushing strong. Yeah. And it's actually still pushing on. It's now up to 14 pips. It's pushing again. On the other one, Great British Pound Card. I would like to say it's more complicated than this, ladies and gentlemen, but that's really it. So who do you know would like this low risk, high reward type of trading? So if it's green, it goes up. And if it's red, it comes down. If you know anybody, just message me in the bottom in the comment or reach out, send me a private message. Write the word ninja, I wanna be a ninja. And I'll show you how you get involved with the ninja traders. Absolutely. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna finish it there. This is Jeff Goodwin, Forex Trading for Beginners, trading the ninja trading system. And guess what? I'll see you here at the top. Bye for now.